Chef Debbie here today. I usually make our own yogurt, plain 1% fat yogurt, and I'm almost out. So it's time to make more. I thought I'd show you how. I used Instapot. Um, you need to get two half gallons, or you can use one half gallon of ultra pasteurized milk. Can't be just pasteurized, it has to be ultra pasteurized. I always recycle the little caps, those will go in the recycle bin. I take the inside out of the Instapot. In case I spill it, it won't get all over the rim. It's pretty easy. Basically, you add the milk, you add the starter, you add the vanilla, and you push the button. And then there's a few other steps we'll go through. It takes about, I'd say, 24 hours to be completely done, but it's about three steps. So I've added the milk. Now I add um, a big spoonful of my starter, which is basically the leftover of the yogurt I just finished. You really need a whisk, so I'm going to blend it with the whisk. A fork will work, but I think a whisk works better. After that, I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of vanilla. I use an organic Madagascar vanilla extract, but any vanilla will work. Not quite a tablespoon. And you want to mix that up pretty good, too. Then I put the milk in the Instant Pot. I always use a, a special seal for the yogurt because I use a seal for doing like meat stews and it ended up smelling like meat yogurt. So I change the seal when I make my yogurt. I always make sure that the Instapot pressure top is pointed away from me. I have my yogurt set at about 11 hours. You can set that when you set up your yogurt, but there's a button called yogurt and you push it. Now, in about 11 hours, I'll put it in the fridge. I'll see you then. Well, it's been 11 hours. The Instapot is finished. It's time to check if the yogurt is set up. So, let's have a look. Yes, it is set up. It's definitely thicker. I'm going to put it in the fridge till the morning. And then we're going to drain it and it will become Greek yogurt the way I like it. So I'll just put the lid back on it. Put it in the fridge just like this till the morning. And I'll show you what we do after that. Good morning. Well, it's time to do the next step of the yogurt. I'm gonna take it out of the fridge now. If you like thinner runny yogurt, now it's ready to eat. But if you like a thicker yogurt, like I do, which um, is called Greek yogurt, you drain it. And when you drain it, the liquid that comes off is called the whey, which is really good to save and put in your protein shake. So here's how you drain the yogurt. You need um, some kind of sieve. See, this is like a screen and something that the sieve goes into, like a, a bucket or a big stew pan. I use this uh, base to my salad spinner. And then you need cheesecloth because the cheesecloth is what's gonna strain the yogurt. So the first thing I do is lay the cheesecloth over the strainer like this. I kind of tuck it in so it doesn't fall under the weight of the runny yogurt. And then I take off the Instapot lid, which still drips a lot of water. And then I have this yummy, can you see it? Hard vanilla yogurt. But it's still pretty runny, as you can see. I'm going to take out the first spoonful and plop it on the cheesecloth. And it holds its shape pretty well, but when it drains, it'll be thicker. And the thicker you make it, the more it turns into almost like a farmer's cheese, if you know what that is. I'm using the spatula to get the bottom so I can get it all in here. I'm gonna see how it tastes. Mmm, tangy. I'm never gonna put the licked spatula back in the yogurt. As you can see, it's pretty mounded and full, but this is starting to drain underneath. And in a couple hours, I'll drain that way off so that there's more room for the liquid to fall out. All right, I'll see you in about two hours.
So it's been a couple hours and I'm going to drain the liquid off the yogurt that I'm turning into Greek yogurt. I'm going to lift out the inner container and uh, put it on this plate because it's still dribbling liquid. Here's the stuff that drained off. I'm calling this whey. It's the liquid part of the milk that's not the yogurt. And I'm going to save it in this jar and use it for my protein shakes. Now I'm going to put the rest of the yogurt back into the fridge and let it drain some more. I'm going to mix it up a little bit because the hard, the harder stuff is on the edges, the thicker yogurt, and I want the middle liquidy stuff to also get firmed up. Okay, I'm going to let it drain some more. Test it. Mmm. So it's been a couple more hours and the yogurt's probably the thickness that I like it for my Greek yogurt. So I'm going to check it. Remember last time I stirred it and drained off the whey. I'm going to drain off the whey again. And after I drain off the whey, then it'll be time to pot it or put it in the containers. So I'll save this last bit of whey. It's sort of yellow in color but it makes really good nutrition for your protein shakes. This, I'll put it back in here in case it continues to drain. I save my empty jars from, you know, mayonnaise, peanut butter, mason jars, and yeah, it looks pretty good. So this is the part where I scoop it into the jars. So there, I scooped it all out into five 16 ounce jars. I used two half gallons of milk and came out with five 16 ounce jars and we go through one of these every two or three days. It's a lot cheaper and a lot better for you than store-bought yogurt. If you like this recipe and how I made it, be sure to press subscribe at the bottom of the screen. Bye.